Alright, let's work a little bit with QuickScript. The main thing with QuickScript is that it is completely phonetic, meaning it's completely based on sound. So, let's work with a few words in it. So, let's do the word hope. Okay. You'll notice that it is only three letters long, okay? Oh, okay. Let's do another word starting with the same sound, such as heat, something that we've been getting quite a bit of recently. And the nice thing is, once we have these sounds, we can just start rearranging them, such as, well, what if we uh, swap the last letter of the words? We get heap, a big pile of something, okay? Or we could do, uh, let's see, it's another word we can make this one, oh. Tote, a bag, okay? Mm, can't think of any other poor words with this combination here. Oh yeah, wait, can do toe, or I guess, kind of obscure, but the color, taupe. Let me move this down a bit. Really need to re-angle my phone. Okay, let's add another letter. So all of these here are tall. This one here is and this one here is, and short. This one here is short. This is important because some letters are the same shape, their position is what shows you what their sound is. Okay, let's add a deep letter. Okay, let's make some words with it. Okay, this is dough and it means every single thing that that set of sounds makes. So it could be what you bake to turn into bread, a female deer, um, or anything else with those. Okay. We can rearrange them, such as toad, or flip that around, dote or dope. Let's do another vowel sound. Let's do I. Now you'll notice height is important here. Let me just add a little bit on the D there to make it better. Okay. Did. Okay. Or we can do tip, or dip. Hid. Right? Is that a few more sounds? Because we're running out of available words here. Let's try, hmm, how about another deep one? Okay. Go. Okay. And we can add on to the end of that. Goat. Okay. Trying to think. Not many more that we can do with what we have, so let's add another sound. Ah. Okay. Maybe have a tad of something. Or tag. Or tap. 
flip that around, and you get... Man, this is uneven. Tap! I'm trying to think of any more... Oh, yeah! Had. Okay. How about another tall one? Okay. Let's do... I'll give you a second to think of that. It is sad. Okay. Or... Sit. How about the past tense? Sat. Or, from a tree, sap. Or what a cat does, hiss. Hey, we can even make the past tense of that. Hissed. So you'll notice this is completely by sound. A few compromises have to be done, because if you were doing completely by sound and wanted to be really, really specific, you'd need around 70 letters, give or take. But with the 40 plus the four extra letters, we'll deal with those in a bit. Um, you can do every single word in English completely unambiguously. Okay. How about another vowel? How about... Uh, well, there's a word there. A way, a frog, a cat, a dog. What happens if the word after that starts with a vowel? Well, here's another short letter. N. Okay. So let's try, well, ton, 2,000 pounds. Pun. Bad kind of joke. And I notice I'm kind of slipping a little bit. Okay, let's do... And I'm getting to the edge of my table here. Okay, ah! Done. Or look! Gun. So, I think I sent you the chart. See what words you can make with that. And remember, listen to it in your mind, and uh, make sure to listen to, into your mind first before you say it out loud, because English has a few interesting words, um, most of them short, and we don't want to increase little ones' vocabularies accidentally. See you guys.